No reasonable discussion of breast augmentation can take place without discussing the possible downsides, and any surgeon you speak to should certainly address those individually. So the first one I'll talk about is infection, which is very rare because antibiotics are given prior to the surgery and for several days afterwards with a foreign implant. So typically infection is a very, very low risk. In fact, we, we don't usually see it ever in breast augmentation. And so I think that that is one of those things you should not have too much concern about. Bleeding is another issue that's very, very unlikely to occur because the new techniques are very clear. The dissection or the creation of the space for the implant is done very precisely with an electrocautery which basically seals any blood vessels as you create the space. Many times you lose not even a thimble or a small uh, amount of blood with the entire procedure. And many times there's hardly any bruising because you don't lose much blood. And this of course leads to a much quicker recovery. So bleeding is a very uncommon issue. It certainly can happen, but it's very unlikely in these new techniques that we use today. So what are some of the other complications? Well, the, the one that we had the most concern with, because we don't completely understand why it occurs, is something called capsular contracture. It's also known in the lay press as hardening of the breast. Let me tell you a little bit about that. When you put a foreign substance in the body, whether it's a breast implant or a pacemaker or a knee joint, or if you get a splinter in your finger, the body creates a wall around that foreign substance. It's a 100% normal response of our bodies to create a wall around that foreign substance. So if you have a breast implant that's placed, after several weeks, the body will have created this wall around the implant. And this wall literally looks, surgically, when you look back in the breast, when you treat a problem with capsular contracture, like a thick layer of saran wrap. That's entirely what it looks like. And it's 100% normal to have this body, the body create this lining around the implant. What's not normal is statistically in 20 out of 100 women, one out of five, this wall that's created around the implant tightens or squeezes the breast. And the breast is in variable forms of being harder or firmer than you want it to be. Now, out of those 20 women that statistically have this capsular contracture or slight hardening of the breast, where the breast feels firmer, and again, the implant's not hard, the body's just squeezing it, only 15 out of those 20 that get it need surgery. It's not a health issue. It's a completely cosmetic issue. So you may be in our exam room, and we're examining you for your one-year follow-up, and typically if this capsular contracture occurs... It happens in the first year. But you're in the exam room for a routine follow-up and we examine you and we notice that one breast doesn't move as softly as the other. Well that may be in our classification a mild contracture. And we look at you and you look at us and we say we'll see you in a year because there's nothing to do for it. It's not bothering your lifestyle, your breast moves normally to you and it looks good in your clothes. Well let's focus on the five out of the twenty, out of the hundred, so five out of a hundred statistically that have a contracture that's a little more severe. It may make the breast so firm that you don't feel like it feels normal. It could be a little painful. It could contort your breast in a different direction that makes it look out of sync in your clothes. And you don't want to live with it. So how do you fix that? Well, if you have one of the previous incisions we discussed under the breast or around the areola, you can use that same incision to take the implant out, release this tight saran wrap-like tissue and then replace the implant and hope it doesn't happen again. But many times it can. So it's very rare for a patient to have a contracture that creates the situation where the implants are removed completely. That's a very, very rare circumstance. But many women will have a mild contracture that they live with, not even knowingly, until they see their surgeon. So capsular contracture is something that is an issue with breast augmentation. We have no real great understanding of why it happens. We do know that a bloodless field, a very precise dissection, with very little bleeding, can reduce the risk. And we know that infection, of course, preventing that will reduce the risk. So this is something that anybody who undergoes a breast augmentation should know could occur and to understand it completely. Having said that, there are ways to fix a capsular contracture, and many times it does not come back.